You guys made it. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Cool. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a 30-something white man. I recently had a one-night stand uh, with a 60-year-old lady. <laughs> yeah. Six-year-old lady. Great start. Thank you. Don't usually go for older women. Nothing against them. They're great. It's just that I uh, happen to be adopted. And my mom is out there somewhere, you know? It's a gamble. Don't need to be playing this game of incest roulette. No thank you. But my friends, they love this bar. They're always calling it the Cougar Bar. They're like, come on, man, you got to come with us. Let's go meet some Cougars. Let's go meet some MILFs. I'm like, look, guys, there's only one MILF for me, okay? And that's the mom I'd like to find. It's <laughs> my kind of MILF. <laughs> so they drag me, to the, drag me to the Cougar Bar. This lady immediately strikes up a conversation with me by saying, oh my God, you look just like a friend I had years ago. <laughs> She's like, can I buy you a drink? And obviously being bought a drink means I have to have sex with her. And I did. And I guess if she is my mom, it's technically not a one night stand. Uh, because I've been inside her before, right? That's, we can all agree on that. Yeah. I don't, I don't think she's my mom. I don't think she is. What are the odds, right? What are the odds that she's my mom? When I woke up the next morning, she was gone. What are the odds the same lady abandoned me twice, right? That seems <laughs> unlikely. Cool. You guys are fun. This is fun. I am really adopted. Give it up for that, guys. Give it up for me. Yeah. Wow. Give it up for me being given up. We're having a good time. Uh, my mom over the last ho well this is my rebound mom now uh, but she over the holidays was telling the story of adopting me and she told everyone she's like oh the first thing I did when I got my baby Johnny was I undressed him to make sure everything was there and, and, she, said, and she said you know and for a baby he had a pretty good dick <laughs> let me tell you guys what 30 years later I still have a pretty good dick for a baby it's pretty good I took, a, I took a DNA test because I was very curious about my background. Don't know anything about my background. I was very excited. When it came back, 70% Italian. Wow, right? How do we like that one? 70% Italian. Made sense because I was always doing this. <laughs> and I never knew why. Italian the whole time. Like, for example, I would be, like, going down on a woman. And I'd stop. And I'd... Do one of those. Do a quick one. I'd be like, that's a spicy vagina. I'd say that. <laughs> and then she'd be like, uh, I'm not gonna sleep with you anymore. <laughs> I'd be like, I totally understand, but she'd probably go to a doctor about that spicy vagina. It's not good. It's not a good. Let's talk about something else. I'm uh, dating in a pandemic, guys, dating in a pandemic. Super fun, super great time to be dating. People are dying, move in on their partners, right? That's what you gotta do. Move in, it's my chance. Everyone's freeing up. But yeah, dating in a pandemic's weird. Uh, Cause I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't know what kind of relationship I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm like open or gonna try polyamory. I think though, I think I'm a traditional person. I think I'm traditional. Just cheat on me, you know, just old fashioned. <laughs> She, I mean, I'm on the Tinder. Someone, a well, lady, her Tinder profile says, don't bother if you're one of those sheeple who wears a mask. And I was like, damn, this girl is definitely going to let me have unprotected sex with her. That's awesome. <laughs> Can't wait. It's not going to be COVID, but she's definitely going to get something. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, doing a lot of dating. Picking up on red flags, learning all my red flags. I went on a couple dates with this woman, and she said that she thinks that watching porn is the same as cheating. Don't agree with that. I was like, man, if this lady feels that strongly about porn, she is gonna hate when I fuck other people. She's not gonna like that at all. 
But yeah, I went on a few dates with this lady, wasn't really feeling it. And she texted me, she's like, hey, you wanna hang out again? And I was like, oh, no, actually, no, thank you, I wasn't feeling it. And she was really mad and sent me a bunch of like aggressive text messages. And the first one she said, you idiot, I would have fucked you on the next date. And uh, that's fine. <laughs> you know? I think I'm gonna be okay not having sex with this person I didn't like. You know, I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Next text she sent me, she said, have fun masturbating. I was like, yeah, that's gonna be great. What are you talking about? <laughs> I would rather masturbate than go on a date anytime. I don't have to spend any money. I don't have to leave the house. I get to pick the movie every time. It's so much better. <laughs> and then the last text she sent me, she said, have fun writing a joke about me. And I love this joke. It's so fun to tell. Good job to you guys. <laughs>